Hello student. After celebrating Dashera, everyone is busy in submission and preparation of ENSEM. For ENSEM, radiation and microwave theory, syllabus is unit 3 to 6. So without wasting time, I am Bhagishri Thorath. Welcome to my channel Pinnacle and we are going to study the radiation and microwave theory unit 3 passive microwave device. For unit 3, the syllabus is passive microwave components. In that, we are going to study E plane T, H plane T, magic T, ferrite composite, Faraday rotation principle, then isolator, circulator and directional coupler and last one is a gyrator. Remember that the course outcome for unit 3 is construction and working principle of passive microwave devices and components. That means student should aware about working of passive microwave devices. So now before starting to study the microwave devices, first we have to understand the importance of microwave devices. The first thing is any communication system is having main component is a transmitter and then receiver. But between this link there are we want to distribute we want to distribute retransmission of power In microwave communication system, your transmitter is a microwave source and receiver is a microwave detector. And in between that, we want to combine power and distribute power. Now imagine if we are going to transmit 100% power. And because of communication link attenuation or the components, we are receiving 80% of power. So your efficiency is 80 divided by 100. Okay, that means 0.8 and 20% is wastage of power. When I want to combine or I want to distribute a power, I have to connect the device between this link. If this device is active, then what is going to happen? For this device working, we need to apply some power. And this is nothing but here, when we are calculating the power budget for this communication system, the power is going to add in this 100%. That's why maximum time we want a passive devices to combine, redistribute or between the communication link we have to use or it is a good practice that we have to use a passive devices. That's why the passive devices is play a very important role in any communication system. Now the main question is which passive devices available for microwave communication system. The list is E plane T, H plane T, Magic T, Isolator, Circulator, Directional coupler, carrier. Now, what is T? 
so t is a junction where we can combine more than two waveguides by definition the passive devices are components where we can interact microwave signals without requiring an external power source they neither amplify nor generate microwave signals but i already explained why the microwave devices passive devices are very important for signal processing and transmission now imagine this is the road some traffic is coming from this side some traffic is coming from this side and some traffic is coming from this side and this is nothing but a junction road junction right so now imagine that if this is a waveguide and in waveguide this is the first waveguide this is the second and this is the third and this is your connection point so this is nothing but a t's t's are having three fourth those are basic t's the type is e plane t and h plane t e plane and h plane both are having three fourths port 1 2 and 3 now imagine this is a road where we are having four roads connected to one point so this is nothing but a another junction which is a four ports so in a microwave that four port device is called magic t so magic t is having arm 1 arm 2 arm s and arm p next microwave passive component is directional coupler now imagine this is input then the output is here it is distributed okay and if i connected this two port as a input then two powers p1 and p2 is going to combine at this the same device we can use as a bidirectional means i can use this as a input or i can use this as a input so this is nothing but a directional coupler okay next passive device is circulator so circulator is a non reciprocal device that guides microwave signal in one direction next is again isolator non reciprocal device imagine that we are having a tap okay and there is a water for this tap i have connected one pipe here and there is a leakage because of that leakage what is going to happen after some time this pipe is going to discard or it is going to remove because of this force this is nothing but a back reflection now imagine that in a communication system there is a microwave source and if this condition is going to happen with your microwave source that means there is a back reflection then your microwave source is going to increase the temperature of a internal working of electrons and because of that your microwave source can be damaged so to avoid that damage we are using isolator after the microwave source to protect your microwave generator i hope you find this lecture very useful for your microwave passive component devices study in a next video we are going to study in detail each and every component don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel thank you